Jeremiah 10 is a chapter containing a condemnation of Judah's sin, a comparison between their false idols and the one true God, and the consequences that God would impose on the people. First, the condemnation of Judah's sin is their adultery in being unfaithful to Jehovah God. As verses 2 through 10 tell us, the people would carve wooden idols and overlay them with gold and silver only to fasten them in place with nails. A God who can't stand on its own is no God at all. But Judah was so enamored with the lifestyles of those around them that they quickly forgot the one true God. The second thing we see in verses 11 through 16 is the comparison between an almighty God and the idols which are the work of man's hands. God, it says in verses 12 and 13, is the force behind all of creation. He makes the rain fall, the mist rise, the lightning strike, and the wind is from his storehouse. Whereas the idols, as it says in verse 15, are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of Judah's punishment, the idols will perish. Lastly, we see the consequences of the sin of Judah. Verses 17 and 18 say, Gather up your bundle from the ground, O you who dwell under siege. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I am slinging out the inhabitants of the land at this time, and I will bring distress on them, that they may feel it. So what is the message that Jeremiah 10 has for us today? Jeremiah 10 is a condensed indictment against Judah that shows us that God is just and righteous in all of his decisions. He has the authority to punish Judah for their sin and chooses to do so. But in light of the justice of God, it allows us to have a greater appreciation for his mercy he showed to us through his son, Jesus Christ. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But it's through his mercy that we can come before him. As the hymn says, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. We serve a just God who is abounding in mercies that are new every morning, and that is something to be thankful for today.